Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. Let's get right into it because we have quite a few things. As usual, first dramas that have gone live. There is an airdropped kind of drama that happened on the 16th during this week. On both the web platform Youku and satellite television, Xiong Luo Ning Cheng Tang, the starry love led by Chen Xingxu and Li Lan Di. I have almost like no interest in this genre of drama anymore and I did check out both drama Chongzi aired on the 15th and this one Xing Luo on the 16th. Based on the couple of episodes I've seen, the story love is definitely much better. It is so funny and entertaining. Then today, as I'm filming this video on the 17th, a drama has just gone live on both satellite television CCTV and Youku. Qing Man Jiu Dao Wan, Love is Full of Jiu Dao Wan. It is a contemporary drama that's set in the 1980s and it's gonna go along and leading up to this century. The type of drama that talks about a group of people who live in the Beijing Hutong and their youth, their love, their career, and their personal story that goes with the development of the country during the 80s and 90s, gold rush time of China in the recent couple of decades. The cool thing about this drama is it's led by people that I do want to see them acting in this type of time setting. Han Dongjun, Rue Yijia, Chen Yao. For Han Dongjun and Chen Yao, I haven't seen them for so long. And I think the last time they worked together was in that drama. That's a long, long time ago. If they've worked in other things later, I don't remember. I just haven't seen them for a while. And particularly in this type of realism drama instead of fantasy. I can't wait to see these two actors playing this type of roles. And Rue Yijia, if you've seen Shanghai Qing, you know she's so Great. Fingers crossed, this would be a worth watching drama. Then we also have a drama releasing yet another trailer and even leaked out like two minutes of the actual drama and then got immediately deleted. I have no idea what the platform is trying to do, which is on Youku, which is Hu Xing, back from the brink, the fantasy drama led by Zhou Ye and Hou Minghao. I just don't think it makes sense if they put the drama out now because they have Xing Luo. It would be stupid for the same platform to air two exact same genre drama at the same time. It may be that once they finish airing or close to the end of Xing Luo, they're gonna bring in Hu Xing. Let's see. Also, on the 21st, if nothing went wrong, a drama should go live called Jing Ri Yi Jia Yo. Never give up. It's a contemporary office drama of, well, people who work in the office, but also it will involve romantic stories. The interesting thing about this project is it is pretty much the same crew taken right from Fu Tu Yuan dropped in a contemporary setting. Well, it's led by Zheng Kai, Chen Yuqi, Wang Hedi. So for the leads, you have you know those two still being in the drama. But in this drama, Wang Hedi and Chen Yuqi are not the CP, not the main couple. The main couple is Zheng Kai and Chen Yuqi. It also includes Zhang Xiaogang. It's also done by Ai Qi. I think it's also done by the same director. Let's see how this is gonna work out. Then we have news on a couple of films that are uh, Pretty exciting. Chronologically, there are two films that have announced during this week that they're gonna go into cinema release in March, both on 24th. One of them is the Huo Jiu Jie Live Long to See film because it is led by even my alarm. Like it literally it's not it's not planned. My alarm just just like immediately. <laughs> It started ringing just before I was about to utter that name. It's the long-awaited reunion of the actor Hu Jun and Liu Ye. If you've watched that film many, many years ago, first made their name known internationally on screen same-sex couple that are in reality also very tight friends and they've known each other for years and also they are not against anybody shipping them although both of them having their own family and they're <laughs> definitely very straight and they haven't been in the same production as two leads since then. I remember when I mentioned this quite a long time ago about this project being made. Everybody was so excited in China because this is the live long to see things happening in front of your eyes. Well, 2023, March, the film is gonna go into cinema. Honestly, what this film is about is no longer that important, although it's a very important and very political film because it's called Wang Dao, which is the name of the character that uh, Liu Ye plays, I believe. And it's one of those essential people in the history of communism coming to China. This person in history is the first person to officially translate the communism 
manifesto into Chinese, and they're gonna play historical figures. <laughs> but it's Hu Jun and Liu Ye. I don't know if this film is in itself as a film having really high quality in narrative or whatever. Like we have no idea, but just the fact that they are in the same film again that many years later. <sighs> On the same day, another film will get released in cinema, and it's something that nobody expected will happen, but it happens now. It got scheduled. Maybe it's because one of the actors got really popular, so that it suddenly opened door for this film to get released. Which is the film that actually is highly claimed at film festivals, and it actually got made a long time ago. It went into film festivals worldwide in 2020, so it's three years ago. But it never got a theater release in China. Now they're releasing it on March the 24th, and it is the film called 不休不止 English title: The Best Is Yet to Come. And this is based on a real story, so it's like a biography film type of, but not exactly about a person's whole life, just about one event that did take place. A little bit like Dying to Survive, which is based on a real person's story. So this film is led by Bai Ke, Miao Miao. Zhang Songwen. Let's see if in March it actually happens. Set in early 2000s, about a high school graduate who is so aspired to be a journalist, particularly、uh, investigative like journalism, that he eventually got a job, got involved in the investigation of a case that is about hepatitis B, infected a lot of people in China, and he went into the investigation of like what causes it, and it has to do with blood. Underground market of blood selling, but then he realized a lot of people got unfair discrimination because they happen to be infected with it, and then they can't do this job, can't do that job. But actually, when you have it, realistically, it doesn't actually affect anything. And so he decided to retract his writing and then rewrite another piece that is talking about the discrimination that's widely. In the society against people who have this, that at the time is over a hundred million Chinese people who are carrying that virus, and then that got like really big and stuff. So this whole film is about this one journalist's journey of that. Like just think about it. If it's well written, right, the whole thing would be super dramatic and with a lot of twists and turns. I haven't seen the film, but I've heard about it. And previous people who have seen this screening at different film festivals all have really. Good response to it. So let's see those two films when they go into a cinema theater release in China in March. What will become of them? Then let's circle back to the drama land for a couple of news that are related to projects. First, there is a drama that is supposed to start shooting this month. Exactly when? Not sure, but very soon, because it's already middle of the month. It's called 别对我动心 which literally means don't. Fall in love with me, and the English title is "Fall in Love." So, what do you really want? Do you want me to fall in love or not? It's a contemporary drama led by Zhou Ye and Lin Yi. It looks like a really <laughs> web novelish plot, like you've seen played out in so many different versions already. Basically, is a girl who likes a guy and then got rejected, unbeknownst to both of them that they actually already know each other at game playing online and in the game world. The guy actually is interested in. Pursuing a girl, not knowing that she is the in reality I already rejected girl. <sighs> It's so old this thing. But anyway, that's like the synopsis of the whole thing. The other drama project that probably sounds more juicy is a drama that they haven't said when they're gonna start making, but they've already decided who this female lead is gonna be because she's a big actress. Sun Li, and this project is called Wu Yun Zhi Shang, which literally means on the top of a dark cloud. She plays a police woman who is investigating the missing of her colleague, which is also her lover. Then a newbie, born after '90s person, is gonna get assigned to her team, working under her with her to figure out what happened. It hasn't been announced who the other main lead is gonna be. We shall wait and see. I mean, Sun Li playing police woman is like all the way circling back to the very beginning of her career when she took her first major leading role that started her sort of. 
Queen of Dramaland career. If anybody still remember that drama, these are the two drama projects. And then we have one thing to conclude today's video, which is something that maybe by the time this video goes out already happens or still hasn't happened or who knows, it may be a camouflaging of something. It may just be tricking fake traffic into whatever. Last night while I was sleeping in China, people realized Youku, the platform has put a page up on their website. So that you can search and you can find this page of this drama, Shen Yuan Abyss, which is the changed title adaptation of Mo Du, the silent reading, which is Priest's novel, which is a BL novel, which is like led by Zhang Xincheng and Fu Xinbo. Mo Du often among Priest's novels is considered to be the most realism heavy and best written contemporary setting novels of hers. I still remember when this project was first announced, people were like, ah, Zhang Xincheng looks so much like what we think Fei Zhu would be, but then Fu Xinbo doesn't quite sit right with a lot of people. And then obviously we know what BL. Mm -hmm. So that nobody really expect this thing would ever come out. Now that means maybe this drama is gonna airdrop without promotion, just like Zhang Gong An. Even if it did get released, this drama will have all those anything that can suggest that there's some mm -hmm, relationship between the two guys cut out for sure. And I found somebody actually talking about that they work. They've already watched the sample episodes of the Modu version that got cut clean. <laughs> And they're saying even when it got cut clean, it's still pretty easy to read that. And it's actually a really well-made one. And both actors performed beyond their expectation in terms of being actually a really good drama. Even if you don't think about it as BL, it's actually really good. So, <laughs> you know, we have something to hope for and look for. And I mean, it may already happen as this video goes out because you never know. But if it hasn't, know that it may happen anytime. Let's just say if that does happen, would that mean all the other piled of uh, dramas are gonna start to come out, but all getting like super cut clean? Which one would be the one that you want to see most? I mean, they should just bring out immortality. Because <laughs> in case you haven't heard, right, what happened to Chen Fei during this week about the uh, bad photo, I mean, there's nothing to lose for immortality, really. <laughs> you can release it now. Also for Sha Po Lang, I mean, release it now. Zuo Jian Yu Ni, just like, just release them all. And just like, I don't know, like even when they're all cleaned up, who cares? We can just fill up all the gap scenes with our brain. I mean, honestly, I can do that. If I really care about it, I don't need you to show me any of those things. I just like, yeah, cut there, cut there. I see a cut. Oh, my brain will just tell me exactly what happened and probably even juicier than the actual shots. That should conclude today's video. If you want to hear me talk more about Wandering Earth 2, a little bit about Gossip Land and also Santi through body drama. That's my Thursday live stream that I did that is way too long for anybody's mental health. But who knows, if you're bored, <laughs> you might want to choose listening to me blabbering about things. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.